What is going on, guys? It is Tyler from Team TYC here bringing you a Chrono Fang Tiger deck profile today. So without further ado, let's jump right on into it. So we start with Chrono Tiger Rebellion. Uh, auto on attack, activate all the skills equal to the number of cards you have in your hand. So if you have five or less cards in your hand, you choose two of your opponent's rear guards in the front row, retire them. Three or less, three of your front row rear guards gain 10,000 power. You have one or less, you turn all the cards that are facing the damage zone face down and all of your opponent's Guardian's shield lose five k lose five thousand power to the shield, so that really helps with trying to kill your opponent, especially if they're uh, if they have a lot of cards in their hand and they lose five k shield value, they have to commit more to guarding. And next main grade three and is Chrono Fang Tiger. So it has the same skills: Lost Legend, Win, Act, Discard cards that equal grade three or greater, and Superior Rider grade four from the deck. And then when it's when Chrono Fang Tiger is ridden. Uh, by Chrono Tiger Rebellion, you can discard one card from your hand and it gets an extra drive and an extra crit, which comes up a lot. And then uh, secondary grade three I'm playing, I don't really want to ride at all, is Re-Innovate Wing Dragon. Uh, act uh, once per turn, Soul Blast one, uh, bind, uh, I think it's one or two rear guards, then look at the top, three cards of the deck call up to two rear guards from among them. You don't really need to use the skill, this I just uh, play this as secondary grade three just in case. And I also just use it for discard fodder to stride. <clears throat> Next, we play four copies of Chronobite Tiger. So, uh, auto at the beginning of your turn, you can draw one card from your deck and then discard one card, and then act, uh, discard one uh, rear guard, act, discard one card, and then the student gets an extra critical. Uh, so, in this deck, I mainly go with Force 1 when I ride Chrono Fang Tiger. I really don't see a reason for Force 2 unless I play against like, an Excel deck or a deck that doesn't really generate a lot of hand value. So, I think Force 1's better just to make bigger numbers. Next, we play four Steam Scara Urcab. I probably butchered that name. Uh, so act once per turn, counterblast one, discard a card from your hand, and then one of your vanguards gets an extra drive. And then continuous ability, when it's in the hand, you can discard it as a three. So that's really good because we're really only playing five grade threes. So if we need a quick stride, we can just discard this. And then the counterblast one, the discard one, to get the extra drive really helps a lot because then Chrono Tiger Rebellion will be swinging for... In theory, 35,000 power and quad, quadruple drive, which would really help, with, especially with the extra built-in crit. And then the last great two I play is four copies of S Steam Mechanic Naboo. Uh, when it attacks a Vanguard, uh, bind a card from your drop zone, and then your opponent cannot call grade one or greater cards in their hand to the Guardian Circle. And then at the end of the battle, this unit attacked, put this unit in your soul, draw one card. So that helps a lot with, because the biggest problem for Chrono Fang, in my opinion right now, is keeping a hand. And with Naboo, you get guard restrict attack, and you get the draw an extra card, so that really helps. Okay. On to grade ones. Four copies of Chrono Tooth Tigar. Uh, uh, at the beginning of the my red phase, you draw one card, and then when cost uh, when it's discarded, uh, cost counter blast one, draw a card, call this card to regard as a rest. So this card's really cool. Uh, if you have the discard to stride or something, you can just call it back, draw an extra card, and you get a booster for the next turn. Uh, nothing really more, nothing really less. And then we play four copies of Wedge Move Dragon. I'm uh, missing one congratulations one, which is kind of annoying, but eh, whatever. So uh, Vanguard, uh, skill when it hits, cost, uh, bind a card from your hand, draw one card. And then uh, skill in hand, you can discard as a three, so that helps just get to Chrono uh, Rebellion and just basically maybe can draw you a card if you ride it. But you really don't want to ride it, you want to ride Ticker. And the last grade one probably the best one, is Quickie Quickie Worker. So if you play Gear Chronicle since it released, you know what this card does. You just uh, call it, uh, cost, put a card from the drop zone to the bottom of the deck, and if it's great for your greater Soul Blast to draw a card. So it just helps re uh, require just an extra card, and then also helps you like put like grade fours back, like Rebellion or anything else you need. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it for the normal units and stuff. All right, Triggers is pretty simple. It's four draw... 8 crit, and 4 heal, and then the starter. So, like I said before, the main issue with Chrono Fang, in my opinion, is draw is a hand value. So you want to keep as many cards in your hand as possible, which the draw triggers really help. And the crits are just building for the extra damage pressure. Uh, so if I were to change this deck, because this deck is nowhere near to the final build of what I want it to be. So if I were to change it, I might put in 2 extra draw triggers and cut 2 crits, so make it 6-6-4. Six, six, but other than that, like, I really wouldn't change anything else right now besides maybe kind of the extra grade 3 for something. But when the extra booster drops out for Gears, Gear Chronicle, Royal Paladin, and Neonectar, I will definitely be adding 4 of the grade 3 searcher that we're getting, the triple R. 
And then other than that, I really don't see any other reason to change anything else. But yeah, that's that's the deck profile, guys. If you have any suggestions for the deck or anything else you want to see, just let me know in the comments below. And next time I will be bringing you, I think, a Ribby Air deck profile post ban list. So hope you guys liked today's video. If you do, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.